how to use datadog with sre especially for slo slis and sla related matters so here we will see um, slo creation then alerting for slo error budget so as a first step we'll see what is slo in a very quick view so slo is service level objective so in this matrix we have kind of example to quickly explain what is slo and uh, how how this work so slo is service level objective sli is service level indicator so from service level indicator only we will come to slo then we will come to SLA. Normally in a contract, SLA come first, but anyhow, without knowing the SLI and without setting a target for SLO, no point going and agreeing with the SLA. Um, because how the system behave, from there only we can go for a measurement and then only we can go for improvement. So here we will see uh, the definition also quickly. So SLI a quantifier, quantifiable measure of reliability. So the SLI, we will give a very bottom level matrix, uh, a combination to matrix we will take, uh, what is the total quantity and what is the um, uh, success rate. So success is the one always we will see. SLO, on top of that, we will give a target. So we said it is a success rate, but how many percentage it is possible to achieve. So we will clearly see when we create the SLO. SLA is a legal contract. So with a client, our business will have a contract with client and if it is breached, financial penalty may come. If you see an example, SLOs are, uh, SLOs can be set with various matrices. So one simple example we can say the page load type. So SLI will say the, the ratio of valid request loaded in uh, less than 400 milliseconds. So less than half a second, uh, 400 milliseconds we are targeting. So we will say this as a target for a page load. This is a target we said. It doesn't mean that every page will be loaded or every time page will be loaded within 400 milliseconds. That's a place. So this, this is a SLI example. So that's a place we need to set a percentage. So in SRE, especially the mistakes are not a problem. We have a percentage for mistakes. So this amount of mistake can happen. And after that only problem. So we have kind of error budget and all on top of that. So what we agree with client, more than 99% of request served in less than 400 milliseconds. And especially we have to mention the rolling window. So the rolling window, according to Datadog, seven days, 30 days, and uh, uh, 90 days. So simply they are looking for week, month, and quarterly. That's how the SLO targets are set. Now, if we go SLA, so SLA, then again, we agree with client. So always there will be a safe margin. So if we, if we set SLO target 99 percentage for client, we will say less than 99 percentage. If we set 400 millisecond as a loading time as a benchmark, then we will go and agree with them little <clears throat> higher than that. So worst case scenario, we will put. So that's how we will agree with the client. That's a way normally it work. Then who sets this? Of course, we need to have ownership. So possibly the technical team is responsible for this one. That's a SRE, Site Reliability Engineers. So because they are the one have to fine tune and all to sort out this problem if it take more time. SLOs more of like uh, operational team. Uh, of course, they will involve DevOps teams or uh, SRE team. Uh, to agree to a uh, target but operational team is the one uh, mainly thinking uh, what is the target to agree this is not always the same team so based on uh, parameters different team make up then SLA of course the business team or whoever interact with the client they will go for the legal agreement with this one now we'll go to data now and see how to set a SLO and how to set an alert so in Datadog, service management, that is the area have the SLO related thing. So service management, go to SLO. Then we want to create a SLO, new SLO. So this is supposed to have, as we mentioned here, go to event and total event. So in case page load time, we will tell how many hits and how many hits within the 400 millisecond. So currently in this example, we are going to see a database. So how many query executed? 
and how many query was without error. So that is little complex, uh, little complex SLO where we need to put little function also. So this is always good event. This is always total event. So in our scenario, we will put total event first. The query count. So this is a total event it is taking, right? We can split by or whatever it is filter and all. But in our scenario, only one server is monitored. So no need of putting filter. This is similar to our matrix explorer and uh, alert section everywhere. Then here we will put MySQL query error. So if I put this one, this is a totally uh, wrong way of doing it because it, we have to do good event. Here we can only have errors. They don't have good event as separate one. So how to achieve good event? So add one more query. Then here put for count. So total minus errors can be a good event. So we need to formulate here. So we can say B minus A. Now it correct. Even you may notice here there was a very poor number earlier. Now it's a decent number came. So that's how we have to formulate for good event. Some places good event will be directly there. For example, um, web page loading. Uh, so total hit then uh, 200 uh, series can be response code 200 can be as a good event but in this scenario good queries or query without errors there is no metric for that that's why we went for total queries here also total queries then total query minus error queries because error queries they had a track so this is how we formulate the good event then total event now set your target so as we seen in the example targets will be a rolling window should be set so they have only three rolling window in data dog so slight variation may be there in data dog these three so seven days for week 30 days for month 90 days for quarterly we set it after set this one so maybe 30 days we can set or even seven days fine right so 30 days it was green but uh, seven days it is uh, red uh, so why it is red because we have a target so this is the target we see in SLO percentage. So SLI we mentioned here. This is the SLI part finish. They mentioned, right? Define your SLI. But here, target your time window. So that's a place SLO target we are setting. Service level objective. So 99.9% .9 uh, is by default was there. So that is higher than the actual value 99.8. That's why it shows in red. And they are saying error budget so error budget is actually 100 minus this particular one that's how they show so they show on top of uh, the uh, number of requests so error budget mean actually number if 100 hit happened so i have a sparing of uh, 0.1 as error budget so if thousand hit come very clean one hit is a uh, error budget so one time i can fail right so this percentage normally in the early stage we will set a lower margin from the actual value so 95 percentage so now it's set to green so we put 95 percentage so they show the error budget and all the uh, graphs here the values are set so it will have a historic value also later once we save this one so we'll save so we need to mention here so my sql my sql even though i'm putting underscore there is no control over here you can put space whatever it is but remember this is the one we will search and find on the alert and set there then whatever description you can give whatever filter you can apply tags teams you can add right so that is easy for searching purpose uh, about this particular thing some description you can put that's all so warning warning threshold also if you want you can give it that will be um little higher than that one so normally warning is lower than that but here warning should be a little higher than that so before uh, come to this lower percentage because we are looking for good percentage how many success so warning supposed to be higher than the alert in the alert normally we put in opposite alert will be a lower value and warning will uh, warning will be a lower value alert will be a little higher value here opposite we put because reverse way we are looking now we can create that event. So the uh, SLO is created. 
Once SLO created, SLO, you can search and find or go to the SLO window. We can see various parameters under SLO. So this is highly related to SRE and the SLO matters. All the history will be there, breaches will be there, all will be available here. And they have tabs. So if we set the alert, we have to go to, we can create a monitor or we can go to monitor section and create the alert. We will see it. Correction, audit history. So audit history actually whatever if you edit someone come and edit and change it that will be traced here right so if i set alert alert will come here so this is how it goes error burn down is the one uh, mainly targeted for uh, alert because uh, if thousand hit come uh, we put 95 percentage so around um, 95 percentage mean around uh, 50 or Query can go wrong. That's how it goes. So, so the 50 will be in a reverse way. One by one, we will reduce and come to the point where it hit the uh, error percentage, uh, error budget. So, full error budget is finished. So, 50 finished. Then we are in a violation. That's how we measure it. So, to create alert, either we can go through this one or monitors. Go to monitors and go to that. So, remember my SQL good query. That's the name of the SLO. So I try to show the list of SLOs. Once you create it, all the SLO will come here. So we can see it. Now go to monitors, new monitors. Then go to the SLO section in the bottom and create SLO. So you have to select the SLO since one is there easy. Otherwise, we have to um, search and select it. So error budget or burn rate option, we can go for it. This is the only thing we will put the threshold. And all the others will be same as uh, normal alert creation. So we can put the body text uh, where to alert like uh, is it a mail or uh, page or duty or service now. Those can be set. So this area a little bit we have to consider about. So it is talking about the error budget. So that remaining 50 as I said if 95 percentage I put. So in the 95 percentage if 1000 hit come. In the 1000 hit. Uh, 50 is my error budget number so that 50 out of 50 95 percentage finish for the target time then alert me so out of 50 90 percentage used then only we will alert that way we can go so this should be lower number actually because we are targeting for seven days right so 90 percentage mean we finish almost 45 then only we are getting alert so we have only five in my hand so lower the number better to early alert that one or oh, otherwise go for burn rate and burn rate have a different kind of parameter normally i feel this is better because progressively so every one hour it will set a, it's like milestone it will set a five minute every five minute and what is the rate like that we can put a rate here and then based on that we can alert so this one auto calculation will happen this five minutes so if i increase four hours five hours then 30 minute target so last six, last six hours or eight hours eight hours is a good one uh, working day so like uh, for last eight hour it will check and last 40 minutes it will see whether the burn rate is going uh, higher or not higher than usual then they will alert so this would be like a milestone target this will be like a total target after finishing almost a percentage then only we go and act it but this is as and then the burn, the burn rate happening or something terribly wrong happening and now error is being generated so quick alert will come kind of anomaly situation so this is a place slo monitoring can be set this this view is to quickly go and see the slo again back the same thing we created now uh, other than that alert creation is happening here so that's all very simple in slo so no need to go and create a dashboard and all nothing needed SLO section there, straight away go there and set all two, three parameters. So SLO dashboard, SLO detail view plus um, SLO alerts ready. Um, this SLO normally not too much for a project. This is normally client oriented. So how the client being impacted straight away. So putting a CPU utilization SLOs or um, kind of under the load balancer if servers are there, putting for those. 
may not point uh, useful so uh, maybe query error is fine because someone is trying to load a page and behind the scene query executed error happened definitely they will see it but a cpu utilization high or memory utilization high if it is under the load balancer uh, automatically the server will be discarded so looking for cpu won't be useful but page load time useful because pages actually people are loading that one so we always have to look for a slo which is directly impacting the client service that's that's the main point so slo should be less normally in a project alerts will be thousands but slo slos will be less than 10 most probably so that is another thing for slo theory that's all thank you